So in a recent court ruling, V. Stiviano, the, the side chick of Donald Sterling, former owner of the Clippers, a judge ruled that she, the mistress, has to give back $3 million to the wife. Not Donald Sterling, the wife. Now everybody, of course, all the idiots, go, oh, yeah, the wife is gonna get hers. Ooh, the wife came back and bit her. Ooh, that whore's gonna have her day in court. Come on, people. First of all, we're talking about millions of dollars. Do you think this is not gonna get appealed? And when they appeal this, that judge is probably going to say, who the hell, what kind of judge is that? The mistress wasn't a contractor to the wife. She argued, the wife argued, that it wasn't his money to give. H how stupid does that sound? Now, I want to run you through some legal examples of what a lawyer who's worth their salt would say in court. Your Honor, this woman and her attorney are stupid. Why? Because that's like saying Donald Sterling can't have a meal, that he can't buy a meal with his own money. This wench laid up on her back and said that Donald Sterling can't do what he wants with his money and she's entitled to it because she laid up on her back? She didn't do a goddamn thing. This whore, the side chick, the bed wench is nothing more than a piece of meat, a steak dinner a lobster dinner, a trip to Paris. It is inconceivable that a wife would say that a husband can't pay his own money, money that he earned. He's the billionaire. She's not the billionaire. She's just the wife. You're just the first whore. You're not the second whore. And I can only imagine that she's, she's just a piece of, of rot just like he is to begin with. And just all the people just, oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm so glad this news <laughs> was reported. Oh, the wives are going to get their justice. There is no sane judge. This is in California. Let's, let's make this absolutely clear. This all happened in California, including the court case. And this judge is from California, as is sitting in California. That's why you get these things that go to court in California. And that's why California is in the position that it's in. Because you have idiot judges like this. Now, you understand by the way I'm talking that I am not a great supporter of V. Stiviano. I could care less if the woman died. I would not piss on her if she was on fire and I had no other water to douse her with. I would step right over the body and say must be global warming and keep stepping. So you understand, I'm not a fan of hers. In fact, I could care less about any of these people. But this judge is stupid. This judge is an idiot. All of the people cheering the judge on and saying, oh, the wife got hers, the wife gets, first of all, she's going to appeal it. And a judge with some sense is going to go, ah, uh, what kind of crack are you smoking? You need to step down. They will dismiss the case with prejudice and tell the judge to step down. That's if, if the appellate court has some sense. What judge would entertain the argument that the husband can't spend his money? She wants the side wench to, to spend by uh th the to pay her back three million dollars three million dollars you just got a billion dollars from selling the clippers you directly the wife because he gifted the the team to you and you did nothing for that first of all right and i want you to understand that after all of that controversy he sold the clippers for more than any team in the history of basketball has been sold for. So all of you black people type of, I'm so offended. I'm so offended he's racist. First of all, who cares? If you hadn't made a big deal about it, and, and it was, I know it wasn't black people that uh, blew it up. I know it was a whole bunch of white people, people in the media. Oh, we're so offended for black people. I'm pretty sure the, the black people that were actually involved in the thing knew exactly how Donald Sterling was to begin with. He was not a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't you know I have sat in the presence of people whom I know have been racist? And I knew that nothing they did affected me. So there is nothing that I felt offended by, nor did I feel obligated to, to leave or to do something else. I'm in their presence for somebody else. I don't support racists. A lot of people, a lot of black people actually support race. I mean, directly do stuff for them, like work for them. Well, I'm getting paid. You can get paid by, by a damn uh, Catholic priest, huh? Somebody that's going to be so 
pure and innocent that you would never hear anything racist from them and they wouldn't have a racist thought. You can get, you can get paid anywhere. You don't have to get paid by a racist. And if you took power into your own hand, you'd have your own thing going in the first place. I don't have any love for the, the side chick, the whore, but this is a stupid decision. This is dumb. I want you to think critically. If you were the judge and the wife said, I want the money that the side chick got from my husband. He didn't have no business giving it to her. Would you say, oh, oh yeah, you could have this money that you had. First of all, you had nothing to do with that. You have no direct relation to the side chick. She was not your employee. And yes, a man is in control of his money. Number two. And number three, the state is not going to get involved in your marriage to that degree. We're talking about you're asking the state to get involved into your bedroom. You're asking the state to get involved with his penis and where his penis goes and what he does with his money to get his penis to go where his penis needs to go. I want you to think critically. This woman asked the state to come into her bedroom and that is no place for the state to be. And you don't even have to be libertarian to understand that argument. What would you do, and I want you to put your thinking cap on, if you were the judge in this case? Answer below. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.